Hey guys, welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're gonna to be checking out a product called the Cab Bag. Now this product was sent to me by the company that makes it. It's a small little uh, small business and they wanted me to check it out so I can show it to you guys. It's a form sponsor, form vendor on one of the forms I'm on and it's a new product they got. So they wanted me to check it out and it's going to solve a big problem of mine. I'm sure a lot of you guys have it. I have a real bad tendency to just throw stuff in the back seat, stuff and it just accumulates back there. And uh, so it's just a pile of mess of stuff and uh, this is gonna help me get a little bit more organized. It's similar to some of those other products in the market that we've seen that organize our back seat, uh, but this is a little different and I like this one a little bit more and I'll go into detail about why later. But for now, you can see it on my tailgate, let's go check it out. So guys, this is it. This is the cab bag. And I've been running it for a few weeks now, as you can see, I've got some dog hair all over it. But this is the cab bag. And what it is, is that the bag that goes under the rear seat to help kind of keep your stuff organized. It is the same size as the larger seat that folds up. You've got the two seats. This goes under the bigger one. Uh, it's the perfect size, so you can still have the other one over there. The reason I like this more than some of those other products on the market is those other ones are hard plastic and they're bolted down, so you can't easily remove them. I like this product because it's easily removable. You know, it's just a bag. Um, I'll go into some of the more details about it later, but I liked the option of being able to take it in, uh, put it in and out of my truck whenever I want. I don't have anything in it right now. I just wanted to show it to you guys. Real nice bag, and I'll go over some of the features about it. So the cab bag is really well made. It's got this nice thick material. Uh, it's got strong YKK zippers. Um, you know, everything is, is well stitched, well made, high quality webbing and everything. Uh, it's a very high quality bag. It's gonna, it's gonna hold up to a lot of uh, tough abuse, which is good for me because I'm hard on my, on a, pretty much everything I buy. Uh, it's a really nice bag. You know, it's got these cleats to keep it from, uh, keep it from moving around too much. If you open it up, it's also got these really nice uh, dividers in here, which are rigid. Uh, I don't know what's, what they are, maybe a thin piece of metal or something, but they're really nice. They are Velcroed at each end, so you can set them up however you want to divide it across. And, uh, and it also helps keep uh, the shape of the bag so it doesn't collapse too much on you in the back seat. Uh, so that was really nice that they included these. I do like that. It's also padded, so like in the lid here, there's some there's something in here, some kind of foam or something to add some padding um, and on the sides as well, just to give it some extra protection so the stuff you put in there has a little bit protected. One thing I really liked is they even included these straps on the back side so that you can actually secure it to the back side of your truck so it doesn't flop all around. Uh, so it can be secured, but it's easily removable, and I'll show you all that. Uh, first, I gotta clean out the back of my truck so I can put this in there and so I can show you everything that it can do um, as far as you know how, how versatile and, and uh, convenient this bag is. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I keep a lot of stuff in my truck. Between my work stuff and my photography stuff, I've got some car stuff, some dog stuff in here. Between all the stuff that I carry around, a lot of it gets thrown in my back seat. You can see I've got my camera bag here. I've got my drone Pelican case. I've got some safety glasses, some boxes, jumper cables, a photography light, my first aid kit, spare uniforms for work. I keep a lot of stuff in here and it just accumulates back here and it makes it kind of a pain to have passengers or my dogs. So I'm gonna get this cleaned out and put it, you know, kind of consolidate it into that bag and we will see how much better it looks afterwards. All right guys, so back seat's all cleaned up now. I've got most of my stuff back in here and I've got it all in my cab bag. And uh, it, it fits real, real nice, it's great, uh, I love it. Um, as you can see, I've moved my first aid kit to the factory storage area so it's protected and it's, but it's still easy to access. I didn't like having it hang from here because it kind of pulls on this fabric a little bit. But super easy, you can pull it out with, uh, with the seat down if you need to. Um, super easy to, to use and get to. Like I said, you do have these straps here. If you wanted to secure it to the truck, you can do that. Um, but I thought I'd show you what all I got in there. 
So I've got all of my truck stuff with actually plenty of room to add more. I could add a ton more ratchet straps, um, some tools. I've got some gloves, jumper cables, of course, and the uh, tailgate mirror. If you want to learn more about that, I've got a video. I'll link to it up in the upper right corner for you. Um, but all my just basic truck essentials there, no real tools or anything, but I could easily add them. I didn't throw anything in here, but you could easily throw something simple here. And uh, they've only got this on one side, but they've uh, conveniently put it on the side where your door will be since this is going under this seat. So well thought out there. I didn't put anything in here. I don't have anything there for, for that yet. On the other side, I've got some chargers, my cameras and phones and stuff, just stuff that you know, I may forget at the house. Um, if you guys don't know, if you don't follow me on the form, I'm a paramedic, so it's nice to have a spare uniform with me when I go to work or just to have around in case I get called in for a disaster or something I can go straight to work. Because um, sometimes, you know, we go to work and it's nice to have a spare uniform before the end of the shift. And then at the end there, I've got a Pelican case. That's actually got my drone in it, but uh, you could put whatever there, you know, that just fits. It's got my drone and the drone charger back there. Um, real nice and convenient. And the nice thing, of course, about it is if I don't want it in my truck, I can just pull it out. And I've either got my full floor space or I can have you know, passengers and their, their luggage or whatever and just throw this in my truck or in my bed of my truck. The main reason that I like having the bag instead of one of those ones that bolts down um, is because I like to be able to take this in and out frequently because of when I carry my dogs. So it's nice to be able to take my dogs and put, throw them in here pull this out so they have the whole floor and they're not going to step on anything just pull this out of the way because I have some big dogs so giving them the full space of the truck which is actually why we bought this truck is the huge back seat so being able to give them that whole back seat for long rides or or whatever is nice to be able to just pull this out and let my dogs get up there and not mess up anything so guys that is it that is the cab bag and I love it I think you guys will too if you want to check it out I'll put a link in the description below where you can pick one of these up uh, like I said, the, guy, the company, I think it's just a guy who's making these, is a form sponsor in one of the forums I'm on. And I'll put a link to his vendor profile as well, so if you want to, you can talk to him, check him out. And I'll be posting on the forums about these. Um, so, you know, I like to support our form vendors. The forums are a great place, and they, they're the ones who keep it going by sponsoring them and keeping money, sp spending money to keep them going. So I try to support form vendors. If you guys want to pick up one of these, they're not too expensive. And I'll, like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Maybe ring the little bell icon so that you get all the notifications when I post more videos like this. And I also want to hear your thoughts and comments, so put those in the description or in the comment box below. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.